for some odd reason I woke up and I saw a silhouette. A father wakes up in the middle of the night to find a man darting through his house. The search for the intruder who busted through a glass window to get out. Shut the doors and they said we're all going to Tijuana sit down and the people even more people stood up. Yeah, because passengers were taking matters into their own hands, refusing to leave a plane after the crew decided to turn it around. How the passengers came out on top. And a man knocks on the window of a gas station and drops dead seconds later. The new details we've learned about the homicide investigation. Remembering pop icon prints, tributes, and memorials around the world after the sudden death of a music pioneer. Live from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Take a quick look outside live because you are looking at a change in the weather. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. I'm Virginia Shaw. And I'm Matt Mendez. Chris and Keo joining us. It's going to be a beautiful day today. Yeah, we will see some sunshine at some point. Breaking overnight in Claremont, a father had quite a scare. He woke up to find a stranger in his house and then in his daughter's room. 10 News reporter Jared Aarons is there live. Jared, the whole family must have been so terrified. And a breaking news update on the man who died at a gas station in Normal Heights. Homicide investigators say the man had major trauma to his upper torso. When police got to the gas station on El Cajon Boulevard, they saw the man on the ground unconscious and not breathing. Officers started CPR, and when medics got there, they declared him dead on scene. The gas station cashier says the man came up to the store window to get her attention. She turned away for a brief moment. When she looked back, he had fallen on the ground. The man's death is under investigation. Now to a 10 News exclusive. And this 57 Chevy was a family inheritance. Now it's just smashed on the street. And the grandfather driving it was thrown onto the pavement after he was ejected. The crash happened on Parkdale and Mira Mesa Boulevard last night. Police say the other driver ran the red light. Jennifer Cabral says her dad's old truck had been passed down three generations. It's a uh, very sad. All of us kids rode in it. Her dad had lap belts installed in the truck, but there was no shoulder strap. He spent the night in the hospital for observation. Now to this developing story. The world stunned by the passing of a music icon, Prince. In fact, we lit up the studio in purple in honor of him. An autopsy is scheduled today after he was found dead in an elevator at his Minnesota estate. There are reports he was treated for a drug overdose just one week ago. All night, thousands of people have been gathering in the streets of Minneapolis right outside the club that served as the backdrop for the film Purple Rain. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez shows us how tributes have been pouring in from around the world. Thousands. Today, the Chargers have a full slate. They'll hold two news conferences. At 10 this morning, the Bolts and leaders of the San Diego Building and Construction Trades Council will announce a labor agreement. The council is endorsing the team's downtown stadium and convention center plan. These are renderings of the project released yesterday. Then at noon, Chargers general manager Tom Telesco will hold his pre-draft news conference. The first round of the draft is next Thursday. The Bolts hold the third overall pick. 9.30 this morning. And Chris and Keo joining us. A little overcast out there, but that could soon change. Yeah, we're actually starting to see some sunshine for eight minutes. All right, thanks, Kristen. And fake money passed around Ocean Beach. And I'm sure if they're doing it to me, they're doing it to all the other mom and pops on our street. She's a small business owner, and she is warning other people so they don't make the same mistake. A community in shock. A teen girl beaten to death at her high school. What led to the brutal attack inside the school's bathroom? We can choose who we are loyal to, and I'm loyal to the United States. He put his life on the line for the U.S. and was then deported. The five-year fight with a happy ending for this local Marine. And this is a live look at the flow of traffic on the 52. We have Caltrans cameras all over the county, so we have you covered when there's a big problem.